I'm Jessica Choba, Busty makes me feel good, and this is Dirty Snooze. When there's something strange in your digital hood, who are you gonna call? Sony! Specifically to release a trailer for their new Ghostbusters film, which is exactly what they did on Thursday morning. The first trailer for director Paul Feig's reboot, that's not quite a reboot, but is basically a reboot, is now in the wild. So we're gonna dive into it like Slimer at an all-you-can-eat buffet. The trailer opens over shots of New York City as the trailer tells us that 30 years ago, four scientists saved New York City, before telling us that it's about to happen all over again. Well, this time there are three scientists and one take no prisoner subway worker, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Speaking of the subway, though, we see graffiti of the Ghostbusters logo adorning a subway station wall. Two references to the old movie in the first 30 seconds, and not the last we'll see either. Later in the trailer, we see the classic Firehouse 2, given that the filmmakers have have repeatedly said this film does not take place in the same universe as the original, it might be a bit confusing to fans. Rather, our theory is that they're paying homage with winks and nods to the originals. I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to buy the firehouse as a headquarters only to be laughed out of there by, you know, actual firefighters. Our first glimpse of the Ghostbusters in action is of Kate McKinnon, Kristen Wiig, and Melissa McCarthy face to face with the spooky looking ghost of an old timey woman dressed in colonial fare. Wiig's character, Aaron Gilbert, is a quantum physics expert. Kate McKinnon's Jillian Holtzman is a nuclear engineer slash mad scientist who makes the new gear. Melissa McCarthy's Abby Yates is the paranormal expert of the bunch. And Leslie Jones is Patty Tolan, a subway worker who joins the team thanks to her expert knowledge of New York. We wish she was a badass scientist too, but as we see at the end of the trailer, the power of Patty is the only thing she needs to kick ass and take otherworldly names. Who cares if ghosts can possess people, so long as you can slap the spirits out of them. And they're going to need all the help that they can get, because as we see in the trailer, Times Square is practically overrun with all manner of spirits, ghouls, and ghasts. The one we trust the least? That guy that looks like Uncle Sam on stilts. Did you die during a 4th of July parade, or during a dystopian performance of Lin-Manuel Miranda's Hamilton? I don't know, and I can't wait to find out. We also see a brief shot of Chris Hemsworth as Boy Janine, aka Kevin, Slimer wreaking his signature Slimery havoc, and glimpses of an updated version of the trap as well as the new proton packs in action, both of which look pretty, pretty, pretty. Dissuade. We also get a look at the new Ecto-1, which is a converted hearse, but not just any hearse, it's a Cadillac. What we don't see, thankfully, is that goofy toy version of the Ghostbusters logo from Toy Fair that was rumored to be the main villain, and we would be remiss in our duties if we didn't give a shout out to that remixed version of the classic Ray Parker Jr. theme. The only thing it was missing was some dancehall horn. Seriously? Whatever, you guys. You know what? I don't even like the <laughs> dance hall horn anyway. Our own Dan Casey attended a first look screening of the trailer yesterday for fans from around the country with Paul Feig, writer Katie Dippold, and producer Ivan Reitman. So, Dan, what's been the fan response? It was great. There was like 30 plus people in full Ghostbusters garb from all over the country. They flew more than four hours to get there, some of them. Oh, whoa. And they gave standing ovations to Paul Feig, to Ivan Reitman, and they were chanting one more time after the trailer played. Oh, so nice. it was cool because these are the people that live and breathe Ghostbusters and have for like 30 years and yeah. they're super stoked about it. That's nice to hear. And they did a Q&A afterwards, yes? So do we get any juicy tidbits out of that? We did get some juicy tidbits. Now I know a lot of people are wondering what the effects are gonna be like. I thought they looked great as you can see in the trailer, uh, but a lot of them are more practical than you would think. Like the ghosts, oh, really? I think they look at ghosts look great. And w the way they did that, especially that one ghost at the beginning that vomits on Kristen Wiig, <laughs> they had an actress in an LED suit. And then she was put up on a wire, she sort of swings forward before vomiting ecto slime all over her. Uh, and so then afterwards they would take that and then layer CG over it, which I thought was a nice touch because that way they're not just acting opposite tennis balls. Yeah, I wonder how many times they had to redo that scene. Like, how many times did she have to get vomited on? Hopefully, <laughs> thousands. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. The first trailer for Ghostbusters is here. Now for the second, and then the third, and then the teaser trailer, and then the Instagram teaser trailer teaser, and then the, just, Jesus Christ, can we just see the movie already? Ugh, it's like DC and Marvel all over again. Anyway, what'd you guys think of the trailer? Did you notice any Easter eggs we didn't? Do you think Slimer is a girl or a boy? Let's discuss. Do you think Slimer is a girl or a boy? Uh, traditionally, he's been a man, but I don't think it matters. <laughs> there you have it. Kyle. Sorry, I couldn't find your arm. Hey. You've got another kind of dead people on Because Science, am I right? Yeah, this week we're talking about why zombies don't actually die. Oh. 
Oh, well, I see what you're saying. Why don't they decompose like normal human bodies? Why are they still walking around hot Lana? Oh, I thought they do start decomposing. But over. not all the way. Oh yeah, that is really gross. Check it out over at Nerdist.com. 